testing ovens. FSD. Within an oven, there are only two controls. The first one is a thermostat, which controls the heat, and the second one is a flame supervision device. This is there so that if the flame goes out, the gas valve will automatically close and stop unlit gas entering the room. FSD. This is a picture of a simplified S FSD and it works as follows. The file, which is a bulb of liquid, lives in the flame itself. It lives just on top of the burner. When the small flame heats up the file, the liquid inside expands and creates pressure at the back of a diaphragm, which in this picture is F. The diaphragm is pushed up, which acts on a lever. When you push one side of the lever up, the other side of the lever is pushed down. At the moment, the gas valve, B, is shown as being closed, but it will push that down against the spring, and when that happens, gas is allowed into the main body of the gas valve and up and through to the gas burner itself, giving a high rate of gas. Here we have exactly the same scenario. Before we start, I must explain to you that in order to maintain the low rate at the beginning when you turn the oven on, there is a small bypass hole in the valve itself which allows a trickle of gas into the burner to give you the low rate. It will do that even though the valve is closed. In this example, the pivot for the lever is at the top. The file, which is filled with liquid, is sitting on top of the burner. When you turn the oven on, the gas comes down through the valve, through the small drilling, the small bypass hole, and into the chamber of the burner. There's only enough gas coming through the small drilling to give you a low rate. That low rate will heat the gas in the file, which will eventually get hot enough to create pressure on the bellows which will open the valve and allow the gas through at high rate. If the flame goes out, the file cools, the pressure is relieved from the diaphragm and the valve closes. The way we test the FSD, this is testing the FSD in an oven, is very simple. We turn the oven on, we turn the oven off, and we turn the oven on again. The full scenario is as follows. You turn the oven on, and you ensure it's at the low flame. If it goes immediately to high flame, the FSD must be broken 
it must be jammed open and the appliance is ID. If it goes to the low flame you wait for between 10 to 30 seconds in which time the low flame should spring up to the high flame. If after 30 seconds it's still on the low flame again the FSD is broken. If it's working normally and it goes to the high flame you wait for 30 seconds or so for the file to get good and hot in the high flame. Then you turn the oven off. You wait for 30 seconds to allow the file to cool down and close the gas valve which after all is its job. After you've waited 30 seconds you simply relight the oven and the oven should come back on the low flame. If it comes back on the high flame then the FSD is broken and the appliance is ID.